Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Um, it's very hot as usual. Um, if there's something you guys want us to react to, drop the link down below, and we'll be more than glad to react. To eat so today i'm actually going to be reacting to did that at his best part 16 so without wasting time you can actually find the other parts like maybe i missed certain parts this one i didn't react to you can find the rest on our channel and yeah so this is part 16 so without wasting time let's get into the video <laughs> The Spanish uh, downfall was due to these mixed marriages. In India, the downfall was due to these marriages with the Hindus and the Dominicans and that. Anywhere you go where there are mixed marriages, there is no Islam there. No, because children they are brought up to the, to the mother, they spend more of their time with the mother. And whatever they get done, they face it up. So many of the brothers, they take this advantage that we can marry to each of these women. But don't they think that well, what are they doing, the consequences? Uh, the question is about Muslims marrying Christian and Jewish women. Allah tells us that you can marry women of the Ahlul Kitab who are, the, no, no, the word mutata, the, the pious women among them, uh, of those who are virtuous women. Among Muslims, when you're looking for wives, we must look for virtuous women. When you find among the Christians, they should be better than any Muslim woman you can find. But generally, our brother and they look get the rejects. You see, <laughs> no, no, this is, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, see, when I was working in the furniture trade, I had a brother working with me, Mr. Hafiji, and I saw his brother one day with a colored woman, is a mixture between black and white in South Africa. And to all appearances, you know, she was a spent force, you know, ugly and all that. So I'm coming and telling this friend of mine, I said, you know, I saw your brother with his wife. And what a thing, man, what a thing. He says, you see Mota, big brother is telling me, some people they eat meat and they throw away the bones. My brother picks it up and makes a garland. <laughs> so there are brothers, Muslim brothers, they make garlands around their necks. You know, where did they find this woman? He said, on the dance floor. Where did you find her? In the cinema. She went out with you, she went out with how many as before you? Allah says, Muhsinat, good women, virtuous women. So our brethren are finding easy way out. This Islam allows. What does Islam allow? You see, the Ummah, the Ummah was such an Ummah that's given that permission that the whole Ummah, everybody is eager to have that woman changed. Your business, my business, everybody's business. There's no such thing as my business and your business. So I have a right, but I'm shut up. Then the children that are born, what happened? Marriages break up. Sometimes it's a, con a conversion of convenience. Generally, I have seen in my country, the woman is converted. What is that? He goes with this woman to the Shaykh, to the Molvi, and says, look, I want to marry this woman. So the Molvi sahab asks the woman, you want to marry him? He said, yes. So say the kalima. So what's that? Say, la ilaha illallah. So she said, la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. That's right. Now from today, your name is Fatima. You want to marry this fellow? He said, yes. So I'm nikahu min sunnati, man raghiban sunnati, falaysa minni, aw kama aqal. Right. He's got a license. This is the type of people that we have. You see, when it's what is conversion? You got to change that person's outlook, complete outlook on life. At the back of the mind, she's still worshiping Jesus. Then some of them they say openly they are Christians and they're making their homes as centers for Christian activity. And the man, we are losing men now. Because of the woman, they marry Christian women and they're getting lost. In South Africa at the present moment, there are so many Muslim mothers are coming forward. You find Shabbir Wadi, his wife is a Christian. Salim Adam, his wife is a Christian. All these because of the women, they are all Christianized now. Even if they were not Christianized, as soon as the marriage breaks up, where does the woman go with your Fatmas, Adijas and Muhammads? Back again to her people. And where are they going? Aunties and grannies are going to church. So your little Fatmas and Khadijas and Muhammads are going to church. They're getting Christianized. Marriage breaks, you die. 
Where does she go? To your grandfather? No. She goes to her grannies and her aunties. Shh. We are losing by the thousands, Wallah. The fools don't know what they are bargaining. They're playing with fire. I'm telling you that unless this Christian or Jewess, if you can make her a better person than your mother at home, don't take a chance. Unless you can make her better than your mother at home, better than your sister at home, I says you are playing with fire. Are you prepared to do that? You got no time. And you're not a man anymore. You are not a man anymore. You are male, all right, but you're not a man anymore. You haven't got that power in head. Like one of our poets, he's put it very beautifully. I hope I'll be able to translate it. He says, Sheikh Sahib, bhi to parde ke koi hami nahi. Sheikh Sahib, bhi to parde ke koi hami nahi. Muft mein college ke ladke unse badzan ho gaye. Waaz mein farma diya kal aapne ye saaf saaf. Parda aakhir kis se ho jab mard hi zan ho gaye. I'll translate it. I'll translate it. <laughs> I will translate it. He says, this learned man, I'm not talking about our sheikh here. <laughs> so this sheikh sahib, he is also not a supporter of parda. You know the parda, the way, he is not a supporter of parda. Wazam, he said, yesterday in the wise, in the lecture, he said clearly, clearly, very clearly. He says, for no reason these university students are getting dissatisfied with him. He explained yesterday in the lecture very, very clearly that after all, against whom are you going to make parda when men themselves are effeminate? They are also already woman-like. The men are not men anymore. So in other words, you are also like women, you know. So what is, this is what has come to men. That you are not man enough to exert your rights even in your own home with your own wife. So don't take a chance, don't get burnt. I think that the best thing to conclude our meeting is to read Surah Al-Asr together. Masha. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal-Asr. Inna al-insana fi khusr. Illa al-ladhina aman wa amil salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haq. Wa tawasaw bil-haq. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidu Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam. This was an interesting video um, about marine outside. It's the same thing as the other video I reacted to because I feel like he's speaking about the same same thing. I feel like um, I've actually heard of families that actually are married, but then the wife goes this side, the husband goes this side. Do you understand? If you can make it work, then make it work. But don't you think at some point you should clash over differing views? I'm also of the opinion that you should respect someone's beliefs, their opinions and everything. But then there's always going to be that one conversation that's going to shake you guys up. So I don't know. Otherwise, when it comes to marriage, marry someone who is going to follow or believe the same things that you do. Or marry someone who's at least willing to follow you it can be any way it can be you following the guy it can be the guy following you whichever one you feel like is making sense at that point otherwise I really really don't have much to say otherwise it's easier when you date someone who believes the same things that you do when it comes to religion because it means a lot when it comes to other things like music you don't have to have the same music for you guys to work out no have your own music then come together share that thing that's my thoughts on that but when it comes to religion i feel like it would be easier so that you also don't confuse your offspring your children's up your children after that you know so that's my take on that what about you guys what do you think what do you think about what did that have to say if there's something like this you want me to react to make sure you comment down below by giving me the link or the name of that thing and i'll react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video